I just got a, an email, you know, it says you have uh, one new subscriber, 530 views, and 1,892 minutes viewed. Okay, do I give a fuck about philanthropy? <laughs> Why the fuck would I care? If one of the new subscribers, you know, I don't worry about subscribers and I don't worry so much about views and uh, minutes viewed. Well, because um, my dad's had the same phone number for 30 years or so and they lived at the same spot and everybody knows where I live and how to get a hold of grandpa. Say, hey, can, you know, like I told you, Emily can call. Hey, grandpa, can I talk to dad? You know, just call, you know, in, you know, in the morning or in the afternoon around dinner time. Hey Earl, it's, 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 it's Kate. Hey Earl, it's Emily. Hey Earl, it's Patrick. Hey Earl, it's Natalie or Noah. You know, so, um, uh, so, and that's, that, that's about all, you know, that, that I would be concerned if they were, if they were concerned about watching the, you know, stuff. This is to help technology be better than the assholes that use technology to mass murder people. Okay. That's why I do this. Cause I love children. Okay. Someone has to love Malia and Sasha Obama. Their parents can't. They're not capable. Someone has to love. You ever seen that video they had one, one time on uh, Jennifer Lopez's thing? And Max sitting there talking about these things he gets excited about. And you have Alex Rodriguez and Jennifer Lopez talking about, no, it's all about the money. Well, you need this much money. On it. And he's like, no, this is really exciting to me. And, it, and he was talking just about people. He's just talking about how he likes people. And you know, he didn't want to talk about the money. He didn't care. But, but Alex Rodriguez and Jennifer are like, oh, it's about the money, son. It's about the money. Money's not fucking real. You guys need to talk to the guy like Jesus. He's really funny, and he does excellent cartoon voices. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> he really does. But he only has one subscriber, 500, uh, uh, three, 530 uh, views, and 1,892 minutes of viewing time. <laughs> As, as long as the technology, you know, when I make a video and it doesn't load, I'm like, that's okay. The, the technology has it, you know, AI's got it, not insects got it. Right. You know, so, um, I sit there and like, look at it. I was like, seriously. And, um, uh, I finished, uh, that one. I got a few touch-ups I got to do on it, but I finished it. Now I got to go take it out to the chid and, um, and then, um, gloss it. So it doesn't wear us up. I'm going to, I got another cardboard box sitting on the top of uh, the barrels out there. It's a cover for the barrels. I think I'm going to cut it in half and take one portion of it. And then I'm going to look up online the Messia Plaza during Christmas with luminaires and have a, see if I can get a good picture at the, with, you know, San Albino behind the thing with the luminaires and, and see if I can paint something like that and put it up on the one wall. And then dad got uh, chili fields with the Donianas before they put up the orchard out there with the workers out there and stuff. He got me pictures of that. So I'll probably paint that onto the one thing. And then, then I'll finish doing all my painting. Painting's exhausting. This is like my uh, craft table Sistine Chapel that's not taking nearly as long as, well, because I'm just not that serious about it. Painting to me is, you know, they, they said in an in, uh, art class, art history class in college, you know, that painting was to make rich people feel important. Okay. So people that over-exaggerate their self-importance and make them feel important. Like that picture I did of Ted Neely, I gave it to my, grand, my mother-in-law. Because, you know, painting is to make rich people. Amy got mad at me. She goes, she's going to take it and put it in a closet. And it's better than anything and anybody in her family's ever done, but she won't show it. And I'm like, well, no, I may, I, I painted it with her in mind because she's the one who got you to write Jesus Christ Superstar. So I painted the picture of Ted Neely. It was really good. I ain't never saw it again. <laughs> Amy, she put it in a closet. She didn't put it out. Amy loved it. She was like, well, I wanted you since your dad was, you know, got... Uh, trained as an apprentice, it was going to be trained as an apprentice for Peter Hurd. I, I want you to use that and then write a bio and then paint pictures and then sell them. And I was like, I, I don't want to, yeah, I was, it wasn't because I didn't feel like people would look at them and say, these are neat pictures. They're, they're very Van Gogh, you know? Um, I just didn't, 
think that, you know, if I thought if I painted something and, and I cared about people, you just give it to them. Like the one that Steffi did, I drew a picture of Bob Marley. I've drawn that Bob Marley legend one more than once. Lots of us have. People really like that picture. And I drew it, and it, I didn't have art training class with the shading and all that. And Steffi had some pastels and stuff at home, and she, I came home one time, and she, uh, she fixed it. She put in the texture and the contour, made the dreads look better and everything. And I was like, oh, that is so amazing. That is so fucking cool. Okay. <laughs> Showed it to Brian Hall, Brian Leroy Hall. And Brian goes, you guys, Earl, you, you need to draw, dude, you know, dude, or, Raph. You need to draw pictures, and then she needs to color them in, and you guys could do a comic strip. Well, Steffi got mad. She got mad because she, she fixed my picture, and I was excited she fixed it. But she got mad because Brian said that I should draw the pictures and she should color them. And she wanted to be a better artist than me. And I was like, God, that's horrible. I, I never, you know... When people are talented, okay, like with my my wife's, um, they had um, both of them. You know, Amy, Steffi's got the Tony Braxton sultry deep voice, okay, which is like, <laughs> okay. and Amy's got like this. She's a black girl who's like a Betty Boop voice. It's like, but she's she's like Kimberly. Parsons, right? You know, with the white girl voice? But it's a sexy voice. Oh my gosh, it's sexy, right? They both have these amazingly sexy voices, but on totally contrasting, right? <laughs> I loved both their voices. Whoa! But it was it was a drag because they, they both had been sexually manipulated and abused that they didn't enjoy sex. Now, Law, on the other hand, boy, that girl enjoyed sex and whoa, she had squeezy more orgasms that are still floating over the cul-de-sacs of Phoenix to this day. <laughs> Ray and Cindy, Earl, what, what are you doing there? I'm washing her hair away. Can you, <laughs> Cindy, Earl, can you get Ray some of that shampoo? <laughs> they were the best. I love those two so much. They were like second parents to my sister who needed them, and she was. They were really cool. I love, I love Ray and Cindy eternally. They were such cool people. They were the type come over, come over and have a beer with me and smoke and let's talk. <laughs> and trees just needed that, you know. And they were really cool. They were good people, and I, I, I appreciated them so much for being there for my sister. And helping her through a lot of the rough things that she she Trace put herself through shit. Oh yeah, because she gets selfish and she'd do whatever she wanted to do. And uh, hell, all my sisters had those moments. Uh, me no, because I I, I I don't do things that are selfish that will hurt other people and put discomfort on other people. If I think that, I, I think better of it and don't do it. I, I try to do things that you know are reasonable. Hey. Yeah. Like, with me, it was unreasonable that Mr. Pettis wouldn't let Michelle date me because I was white, okay? But I didn't date her because, you know, I wasn't asking her to do anything that she wouldn't do, okay? And that happened to me quite a few times with Mexican and black women, especially here in, in, the, in New Mexico. And, uh, but in Phoenix and Tucson, no, the, the Mexican girls and the black girls like me, and so let's date, okay, right? And it was different, but it's, you know, it's, it's, that's just stupid people doing stupid things, you yeah. know. And I've been surrounded by stupid people doing stupid things my whole life. And, um, like I told you when I was in the service and I talked to Brian, I said, you know, you feel like you underachieved just to fit in. And he's like, no, it's like, Brian, your dad's a physical scientist in the Pentagon. And you get all the sarcasm and the jokes that I talk with the social satire. The, okay. <laughs> Dude, right? <laughs> I remember when I was at Southwest Airlines when um, uh, me and Teresa used to talk and she was like homeschooled and, she, and I was sitting there watching Frasier and this was like, oh my gosh, my whole life, I, 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 am, I, I am more nerd than because I was always a cool bad boy jock. Well, couldn't be a jock because I was such a bad boy. And I was like, but I'm also like, yeah, like make David Underhill look like he's a product of a uh, fantasy of uh, Chuck Lorre and Bill uh, Prady's imaginations. I was... We, imagine David Underhill who's cooler, considerate, faithful, kind, and protecting, and the best jock and the best dancer in all of the state of California and Texas. <laughs> that was me. 
but didn't do it because he didn't want to offend people or have people try to attack him because they were jealous of him. So he just underachieved so he could fit in and then just find someone that appreciated him because he was a nice guy. That's what I always tried to do. I'm still trying to do that. I'm too tired and too beat up. I don't want, when I go out there and play in the shed because I have to detox real slowly. I can't enjoy basketball like I used to. I can't enjoy darts or cornhole like I used to because of all the chemical poisoning and the slow detoxing I have to do. It's miserable. You guys don't want to be like Adam, Moses, David, Jesus, John, Saladin, because look what all the assholes do that compare themselves to you. I'm going to go. I love you, all right? Peace.